this one is very interesting. Talk about, I did not expect this one. Ladies and gentlemen, a new MOBA has been announced. A Dragon Ball MOBA. Right now it's called Dragon Ball Project. I would imagine that's a working title that's probably going to change at some point. Stand Together, Win Together. The Dragon Ball franchise's first 4v4 team-oriented battle begins. Regional tests will be scheduled, period, August 20th, 6 a.m. to the September 3rd. You can sign up here. Here, if y'all want the link, I'm going to drop it in the chat. Yeah, this was a curveball. If you want to sign up for the betas, ill App Store. This is a mobile game. And oh, it's coming to Steam. Let's see what it's looking like. I didn't watch the trailer. I just saw it on the timeline. I said, like, oh, let me say this. Ooh, react to this. Um, can someone tell me the name of that Gears of War looking game from the last stream? Warhammer. Uh, Warhammer Space Marine 2. It comes out in September. Peggy 12. In the mind of Akira Toriyama. Every second count. Bro. You, you'll pay. Just to finish this. First of all, I don't like the way this looks. This looks like bootleg um, Pokemon Unite. Second, I just had a thought. How is the class system gonna work in a MOBA? Like, who's a tank in Dragon Ball? Because I can argue every character is a fucking tank. Every character is a DSP. Every character's got range. Nappa. Nappa's definitely not a tank. Did you see what that nigga Vegeta did to him? Bro Broly would be the tank. I'm I like like what would be the I'm confused. What would be the classes? The dragon shell and go get the dragon ball. I already won this. Farmer <laughs> <laughs> with a shotgun. No way! A powerful foe has appeared! Like what class would Kid Gohan be? Beat this! You're through! Incredible! It would be fire if they, they did like the evolutions like in Pokemon Unite. Where like you start off as base form Goku and as you as people start to feed you, you can become Super Saiyan. That would be fire. And like keep going up in level. But they gotta explain the gameplay on this because I feel like there's gonna be some balancing issues for this. Also, it just doesn't look good. Um, let's uh, hey, um, whoever owns Bandai Namco. Oh my God, Bandai Namco! It's Bandai Namco too. <sighs> They're famous for six out of tens. Let's not spit on Akira Toriyama's grave, man. Um, dude just passed away. Let's keep let's keep the respect on his name. I don't know about this one. We're gonna keep our eye on this because it's Dragon Ball. But I need to know some details on this one because first impressions, nah. Nah, that wasn't it. <laughs> that wasn't it. Can we get some better? Yeah, top down MOBA. This should be like a third person type beat. You said 2XKO is fire. You're going to like it. Hey, I'm going to try it this weekend. So, yeah, that's Dragon Ball Project. Um, but a bit of a terrible name, too. Uh, we got the final trailer for Black Myth Wukong, August 20th. We're a few weeks out. Let's see what that's about. Someone's almost five minutes. Excuse me. Game science. Beat your ass. It is Wukong. on his head their sweeps confirmed sweeps confirmed Ooh. he 
got like cat like fucking octopus arms or something. <laughs> Wait, he got like a super beast form? What the fuck is that? You got a super monkey mode? PS4 run. PS4 is not running this. Yo, chill. You can take the form of some bosses? Ah. to the trailer but oh wait what the fuck it didn't copy the link hold up there you go hello friends Apparently he's a shapeshifter. He can take form of like other creatures because you're saying you're confused about the different characters. Oh shit, is that the Chinese Four Horsemen? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, they got the, the Chinese Akatsuki in this shit. <laughs> I don't know what the, I don't know what's going on in the story, but I'm ready to run a fade. Confront Destiny on August 20th. He said, Was that one you? The fit looked like it. Dark furred, devious natured, hunting that guy is no simple task. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> the voiceover might be fucked. I don't know if y'all peeped, but that voice does not match that mouth. Like, pay attention to him. Devious nature, hunting that guy is no simple task. You do have some skill, but this land might. Damn, that's how the real they are. Can't nobody stop them. Yeah, this, that shit was like an old Bruce Lee movie. I will defeat you. <laughs> Yeah, hey, yeah, that that yeah. If somebody, cause my dad was like a big Bruce Lee film, uh, fan, so like I seen a couple Bruce Lee movies. As someone who grew up watching them old kung fu movies from the seventies, when motherfuckers be complaining about dubbed anime, that shit cracks me up. I'm like, have you seen a Bruce Lee movie? <laughs> I'm here to defeat you. <laughs> like, bro, what the fuck? Why is his mouth still moving? They did not give a fuck back then. They said you're gonna like this shit. <laughs> oh shit. Why now? Nah, why all black dads love Bruce Lee? You gotta remember the Kung Fu era. That was big, like in the seventies and eighties. Black folks just love that shit. Black folks just love that shit. I mean, 
the blacks and Asians go back since way back. Wu Tang Clan, come on now. Um, let's see what other trailer I got. Oh, not a trailer. Take this with a grain of salt, because I don't know how reputable Pirate Nation is. Um, but they said that Black Myth Wukong review a review leaked, saying the game is ninety hours long. It's Sekiro meets God of War. It's optimized, and there's lots of enemies. And then he goes on to say, um, in the review that leaked, it's coming from 4chan, so take it with a grain of salt. The bad things is there's no photo mode, almost no NPCs, uh, and then extremely difficult in the beginning. There are some stutters on the PC version due to DRM, so the console version might might be the best one. Um, the almost no NPCs part confuses me because it's like, are you talking about story or are we talking about like trash mobs? Uh, but just the tidbits, don't trust that account. Yeah, I don't trust it. Uh, I'm not too familiar. It just it showed up on my for you page. Just, there's when it, when there's things that I don't trust, I'm always gonna say it. Like take it with a grain of salt. We just yapping. We just talking. It showed up on my for you page. Um, you said it's a known misogynist, anti woke incel post pretending to be a journalist. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. Um, yeah, take it with a grain of salt. And then last but not least, we got a trailer for Splitgate two. This was announced like a week or two ago. They dropped the gameplay trailer already. We're, we're, we're pr 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 premiere. Yeah, that page is trash. Bet, 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 bet. Let's see what Splitgate 2 is looking like. For those unaware, this is Halo meets Portal. In my opinion, Splitgate was better than Halo Infinite, but Halo Infinite was free and had the legacy name, and everybody ditched Splitgate, unfortunately. I got one. We're back from the dead, though. Oh, they're both, they're both. They're on the point. One shot. Oh, you seen the Black Ox 6 zombie stuff? Oh, okay. Nah, link it. I think I stuck one. I got two. Last guy behind me. I seen, I seen a tweet. I seen a tweet about it, but is there like actual gameplay or something? Because I think I have a tweet saved. Uh, uh, one more. This is just such a Link fresh it. outlook on a good, fun arena shooter. It kind of builds on what Splitgate 1 was. It's got your- Is that optic scop? Holy smokes! With the porn stash. Is there, single shot there was a reveal action. today? Oh, I missed it. Fast paced, like the movement and adding that slide mechanic sort of makes a world mm. of difference when it comes to being able to run and get- Hey, that movement looked kind of good. Done. It's no longer just portaling and gunplay. It's like factions comboing with- Appreciate it. I got it, chat. Good look. The utility, the abilities. Really, the factions are the biggest thing, uh, just because of their passives and ability that you use. Common dropped the new album? I don't even know. What's it called? Teammate is going for a capture. I'm not gonna lie, this shit look crispy. So Eris is just hype, 8 p.m., fast movement, you gotta run around, you're porting behind people, shooting them, killing them, go back to your portal, reset, pop a... One thing about the original Split Gate, it like... The gameplay, the core gameplay was good, but like the presentation, it definitely felt like a first time indie game. It was a little rough around the edges. You could tell they were on a tight budget, but like this one, they got the presentation. Like the presentation is much better in this one. You can see the step up. Then this role is mainly like the entry fragging role. And I would say that's more geared towards the mechanically skilled players. Using that rush ability also increases the pacing. Him and Pete Rock collabed. Oh, in, shit. And also do those portal, 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 portal. You reload faster, combine that with the sprinter, and you're just assassinating people really quickly. And it's just. The AR looks viable. The movement with everything feels very satisfying. It's like. Yeah, the movement looks fragment, good. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going for kills, I'm moving around the map, and I'm taking out the entire. Call of Duty heads might like this. They kind of gliding. Our team. Healers and spotters. I got heals. I got walls. Timmy's on point right now. Timmy's on point. The faction Meridian is way more appealing, in my opinion, to support players because there are abilities that can help you survive and help your teammates survive, that you can kind of support them and keep them up, but also get kills at the same time. Shout out the day to day like with I the big raid. Hyper sight to see when people are flanking, and it kind of just detects people behind walls. Gameplay. Good look. Hold up one second, y'all. Uh... Beep, 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 beep. Good look. Shout out the day to day with the raid. I appreciate you. You can see their HP, where they're at. Just the info by itself is good for your team. But also, it does give you the ability to frag out yourself, which is nice. 
I think that the Time Dome is actually one of the best gadgets in the entire game. What does it's that do? It's really useful anytime, really, you're in a gunfight with anybody. You could use it for yourself selfishly by just throwing it on the ground. Appreciate it, Dave. And being able to shoot faster, you reload faster, you move faster. There's pretty. Ah, you, you get know, cracked out. The enemy ends up stepping into it, they have the reverse effects of that, which is obviously huge. Oh, that's cool. So they're adding hero shooter elements because now they're adding kind of abilities. It almost, it almost, it's almost like Apex meets Halo. Watch out! Opponent is attempting a capture. Dude, the grenades are <sighs> so good. I just threw two a point, got two with the nades. Obviously, portals are big, but Sabrask, I feel Another like day to day with the with the subs, I appreciate it. With uh, the most not using the portals not as many movement perks compared to the other two factions, but with all the abilities and the guns, you have a lot of versatility. You have the smart wall, which is basically a pop-up shield that blocks enemy bullets from your enemy, depending on where you place it, but you can shoot through it. If you play- That'd be good for objective-based modes. Don't do a drive-by boop. You need a hug? Hi. Oh, <laughs> big stretch. Sir? No drive-bys, please. No drive-bys, please. No drive-by, please. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, there is a power vacuum right now in terms of first-person shooters. Um, this is looking pretty crispy, I'm not gonna lie. This is looking pretty crispy. No drive-bys, please. Mm. Smell like a good, clean dog. You're welcome. Oh. You sit down and you're getting shot in the back, you can then go to the opposite side of the smart wall. And then pairing the wall with the sticky grenades, I could walk in any room in any building and wall off one area and then grenade a certain doorway and then hold down the zone. So if you can get to a power position on the map, the smart wall was like a necessity. I don't have the utility to stay on point, so I think- I have guys... a healing grenade, I can just go inside yeah. with everybody. I think, I think you put- Yeah, between this and Spectre and then you got Black Ops 6, yo, chat. Shooters have been on the downturn, but shooters might be back. You got Marvel Rivals. Put the heal grenade, and then you guys should play it off of each other, and I can just play the I don't want to hear nothing about it's nothing to play. For me, after playing Split Gate 2, I'm looking forward to just the actual release of the game. There's going to be more game modes, more guns. More Shout out to main chosen one with the, with the gifted maps. subs. Appreciate you. I mean, the big thing is, it's like a, it's a real sequel. It still holds the core fundamental values of Splitgate, so it's still Splitgate. It's not going too far away from the original game, but it still has that fast-paced arena shooter feel that brings a lot of people back. And in this, you can spawn in, hit some shots, play with your friends. Shout out to Chef uh, Negro with the five gifted. I appreciate you. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. 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 Big steal, big steal. Watch it live. Full review August 14th. Doo -doo 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 -doo. This is a day one cop. I'm going to play it. This looks good. This looks good. This looks good. All I ask is, <laughs> look, and look who I see at the top of the comments, JG. I might have to retract my initial statement about Splitgate 2. I kind of want to play it now. Is that character in pink? Ninja? I don't think it's a ninja. Uh, probably <laughs> definitely a streamer, though. Um... This is looking crispy. This is looking crispy. This is a cop. This is a cop. I, I love Halo too. So I, I like the original Portal. I always advocated for this game. I thought it was not Portal, Splitgate. I always thought it was fun and it was different. I um, mean, the community was really funny. And they added hero abilities. That's going to be interesting. Um, all right. What else I got for y'all? Keep an eye on 